This is an introduction to two open LCB prototype boards. The upper one has eight LEDs on it attached to consumers for detecting events and responding to them. The lower one has four channels, two buttons that can produce events, and these upper two ones are set to consumers right now. They also each have a reset button, which is here, and then these two buttons which we call blue and gold because of the LEDs associated with them. The gold LED is just blinking to indicate that the nodes are up and working fine. The blue LED will flash if a CAN frame is received on the link. So for example, if I push a button down here, which sends events for pushing down and lifting up, you can see the blue lights light on the top one for down and again for up. But none of the other lights up there change because the events up here have not been configured to match the events down there. The basic idea of a producer and consumer system is that this produces something and this consumes something and when they agree stuff happens. So the purpose of the blue and gold buttons is to do that configuration. You can put a, either a producer or a consumer into learn mode and tell it what event to learn and then you can put another one into teach mode so that they will end up agreeing on what to do. So let's make the first light up here go on when I press the first button down here. So first I'm going to tell this light that I want it to learn an event, and the blue button is for that. Every time you push the blue button, this light will come on, and it'll start stepping through all of the things you can teach. In this case, we hit it right away. We want that first light to be programmed for on, you see that it's mostly on, but it's blinking, so we know that's the light we want. We push gold, this lower button, to say, yeah, that's the one I want to learn. Now we have to teach that particular one an event, and we're going to teach it the event that this bottom button sends when I push it. That's the first thing on this board, too. I push gold first to say I want to select somebody to learn. I again use blue to pick one, and here it's just one press, that's the down edge on that first button. And then gold finishes this. When I push gold, you'll see a blue flash at the top as the learn message goes through. And now if I push this lower button, the first light on the top comes up. You notice that I didn't turn it off. That's because I haven't taught it that when this button goes up, that one should go off. That's another piece of teaching to do, and it's done the same way. It's the second one this time push blue to start learning, but we don't want to teach it about what to turn on, we want it to teach about what to turn off, so let's push blue again. And now we're seeing off with that little flash so we know which channel it's talking about. Yeah, that's the one I want to teach, let's push gold so it does it. So now he's sitting there ready to learn. We teach gold because we want to teach. We push blue once, no that's not it, I don't want to push button down. Yeah, there we go. That's going to be button up, the button going off or mostly dark. And then I'm going to push gold again. You'll see the blue flash at the top. And now these two work together. Button down, button up. Button down, button up. Notice that I haven't had to worry about any kind of node numbers or event numbers or channel numbers or commands or anything else. All I had to do was push some buttons to connect these.